This is Cerebral Cinema. Movies of the Mind. I have been here. The Grey Goose, Adventures of a Modern Robin Hood. My role as the Grey Goose was intended by me to right a few wrongs. Pillage a little here and there and... Uh, <laughs> acquire a few pickings for myself. It was Scotland Yard who christened me the Grey Goose by reason of that little vanity of mine, the Grey Goose Feather, which from time to time I bestow on my victims. One day, I'm told, it'll be the means of making my head roll in the dust. However, not for a while, I trust, in spite of that shrewd merchant, Inspector Ford. <laughs> well, away with doubts, and let me tell you how I stuck my neck out again and got involved in another brawl. I'd been down to the docks to see a friend off. His boat didn't leave till 11 p.m. Thus I found myself wandering over ropes, tar barrels, and all the paraphernalia of wharves. Help! Help! I, I... What the deuce? <coughs> Some poor... I'm drowning! Don't they keep a lifeboat in these parts? Help! Help! Oh, now, this is a great pity. I'm wearing my newest suit. All right, sonny boy! Be with you in a moment. Keep calling. Can't see a thing. Use your voice, man. Over here. More to your right. Hurry. Hurry. Don't, don't panic. Just try and keep yourself afloat. Thanks, mate. But hurry. Hurry. I cannot swim. There. Got you. Now, turn over on your back. And don't grab me, idiot. I'll do the grabbing. So... Not far to go now. Help with your hands and kick out with your legs. That's the idea. Oh, thanks, mate. You can you can pin the decorations on when we get up to the wharf steps. Ah, ah here we are. Now heave, man. Heave. Uh, I can't use my hands. Now, mate. No wonder. Not the ideal night for a dip in the Thames. Ah, now we've made it. Uh, now what? I reckon you saved my life. Name's Burns. Thank you. You see, I, I couldn't have swim. Well, surely you could have paddled a matter of 20 or 30 yards? Uh, not like this. Bend your head down and take a look. Ye gods. Chains round your wrists. And ankles, too. Look here, I wasn't out there taking a bath. I was chained up like this and chucked in the drink. My, my. No wonder you can't swim. What's the story? Uh, let that wait. Now, can't you get these chains off me? This spot isn't healthy. They must have heard me yelling and probably even heard you calling out to me. And whoever they are, it seems they're not the sort of people I'd like to meet. So let's see if we can do anything with these chains. And then we'll beat it like Billio. Lots of places around these walls we can hide out in. Look, can you hurry a bit? I'm doing my best. I pretty skillfully snarled. Yes, the seaman did it. You can tie knots even in chains. I'm almost here now. Puzzle to me is you didn't sink at once. Oh, well, actually, I'm a very strong swimmer and kept afloat for about ten minutes. Then I started to go down and I yelled. Thank heavens you heard me. All right. <laughs> That's a lot. Now you suggest we run. We do. You follow me. I know these wharves like the back of my hand. Come on. Now we don't lag too far behind. I'm trying not to, but I can't see what I'm running into in this dock. Of course you can't, friend, and you've run into this. Can't move an inch. Better check him in the drink. No, not yet. We've got to find out something about him. It looks as if he pulled Burns out. Obviously did. Pity we were just a bit too late to catch Burns. He may have had a chance to talk to this one. We've got to catch Burns. But he'll keep. Is this fellow getting conscious, do you think? Grown just now. Can you hear me? Hear you. Hear you. Chains. Chains, water. It's coming too, Lomax. Oh, oh, my head, my head. Chains, chains. Listen, you. 
Talk. Talk, yes. Burns. Burns. Get that panic out of water. That's it. Chuck it over. <gasps> Uh, what the devil? Hello? Who, who are you? So you've come too, have you? I d- don't really know. R- rather mysterious. W- where am I? You're in a disused store on the wharf, if that's any interest to you. But you'll never have a chance to see the exact location. Because from here, my interesting friend, you go into the drink. Well, it's very disconcerting, I must say. But may I ask why? What did Burns tell you? Uh, nothing. You see, he hadn't time. Apparently, he found it good policy to run away. He invited me to do likewise, which I did. Then, apparently, I, I went to sleep. You certainly did, my friend. You'd taken a little too much of this. Some blackjack. Exactly. Uh, now I know why I've got such a headache. Who are you? I seem to be tied up, or I'd get out my wallet and present you with my car. Don't bother. We've got your wallet. What's your name? Fletcher. Yeah. That's what the card says. Now, what were you doing on the wharf? Seeing a friend off in a ship. What? From one of these little piers? That's it. Little ship, little pier. Don't use cheek. Now, careful. What did Burns tell you? He told me nothing. No time. Answer! 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 All right. He's out of here. Stow him in that corner. We've got to search for and find Burns if it takes us all night. Answer. Uh, Answer. Oh, Lord, what have I run into now? And where the devil am I? Oh, he got my head. Pitch dark, stink of tar. Ah, yes, someone said I was in a store on the wharf. But why? Two men, what... What were their names? Uh, um, uh, Low, 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 Lomax. Th- that's right. W- what did he call the other? Oh, think, man, think. Kit, Kit, something. Kit, Kitty, Kitty, Puss, 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 Puss. Hey, wait on. I'm going off Morocco. <sighs> well, if ever I get out of this, which I doubt, I'll have the hides off those very nasty. Hello. Are you in there? Who's that? Ah, so you are in there. I thought they might have bumped you off. Not yet. They've gone looking for you, I expect. Or I seem to have heard them say so. Can you get me out? Aye, I can. They've padlocked the big door, but there's a side flap they forgot about. Now, hang on. One good turn deserves another. Ah, ah, that's got it. Now, where are you? Here. And and that's my face you nearly trod on. Oh, sorry. You're well tried up, too. That's Lomax's work. Expert. All right. My jackknife will soon fix these ropes. Yeah, that's got it. Thanks. Yeah, you think you can walk? I think I can try. Ooh, stiff as a board. Oh, stiff or not, you've got to move and move fast. Thanks for coming back. Oh, least I could do. Oh. Matter of fact, I saw you go down. Low max cost you. I thought I'd better to carry on and see how the wind blew later. Jolly good thing you did. Ooh, my hat. I'd like to get out of these wet clothes. We'll fix that in five minutes. Oh. There's a place not far from here where I sometimes stay where I'm in port. The girlfriend and her mother keep it. We'll go there. Uh, I wish I knew what all this was about. No time now. I'll tell you when we're both berthed and tucked in. Well, now, Burns, we are warm and fed thanks to that nice little girl of yours. Now, what's behind all this? Oh, well, Mr. Fletcher, it's a, a bit of a long story, but uh, I'll cut it down where I can. You're a Navy man? Yes, engineer these days. But I was in the Royal Navy during the war. As a matter of fact, uh, I was on special detail. Oh, really? Well, can I ask what special detail? Yes, you can. I was a frogman. Great Scott. Oh, I told you I could swim, didn't I? But I'd never tried it with about 30 or 40 pounds of iron chains wound around my arms and legs like tonight. Well... When I was discharged, I got my engineer's ticket and went looking for a ship. I was rather taken by an ad in a, sm- in a paper. I wanted marine engineer about 30. A small private craft, 1,000 tons. Owner, work watches about with successful applicant. So you applied? Oh, that's it. And uh, quite a nice little craft she is, too. 
The fortune finder, they call her. By they, you mean Lomax and... and uh, Kitson. Kitson. Thanks. Lomax and Kitson. I'll never forget those names. Nor me. However, the job was cushy. Mediterranean ports, back and forth to England. Uh, six months this went on, and everything seemed above board. Then, two days ago, we dropped anchor in the estuary. I don't know why, but we did. Just off Westcliff on sea. It was a very warm day, and I decided to have a dip overboard. I was just about to take off from the rail when... What the devil do you think you're doing, Burns? Going overboard for a swim, Mr. Lomax. You'll do no such thing. Oh, but surely I won't be doing any harm. I'm hot, and the water looks fine. Why don't you join me? Get down off that rail and go ashore for a swim if you must. Mr. Lomax, it's not my watch below in the engine room, so I'm pleasing myself. I'll see you when I come up. If you like, you can sack me. Come out at once, Burns. Look, I've got a gun. As sure as you disobey me, I'll loose off at you. Don't you dare do that, Mr. Lomax. That's murder. I mean it. In that case, I'm going to dive under the hull where you can't see me. Don't you dare. If you do, you'll have to come up before long and I'll get you then. I mean it, Burns. Well, I did dive under the hull. Having been a frogman, as I told you, Mr. Fletcher, that was easy. However, I naturally had to come up again. And there was Lomax and Kitson in the pinnace waiting for me. Crack went the boat hook on my skull, and before I knew it, they'd hold me over the side almost unconscious, and then they chained me up as you found me. It's a far cry up the river from Westcliff on sea to the Pool of London docks. Yes, they must have up anchored and steamed up here. Well, when we were at anchor again, they came into my cabin and without a word, took me up on deck and heaved me overboard. Great Caesar, a nice sort of gentleman indeed. Now, what's it all mean? Why guns, chains and drownings? My word, man, you shouldn't be alive. I know the reason, Mr. Fletcher, and here it is. In my cabin, I had some old service photographs. There was a group of us training as frogmen. Lomax must have seen it and suddenly panicked when I went to dive under the ship. Frogmen can use their eyes quite well under the water, you know. But what did you see that he didn't want you to see? I'll tell you. No! Holy Moses! He's hit! <laughs> And so we enter on another exciting adventure with The Grey Goose. Cerebral Cinema hopes you have enjoyed this movie of the mind.